A controversial header from Dale Holland. Six minutes from time sealed a dramatic 2-1 win for Cole Ramblers over Wexford in St. Coleman's Park tonight. The game started in a frantic fashion with both sides looking to attack and the first real chance of the game came the fourth minute through Keen Corbelli who made a dangerous run inside the Cove box before finding Jordan Adeyemo but the former Longford player could only blaze his shot over the bar. Despite this, it only took 11 minutes for the first our first goal of the game and when Cove's Tiernan O'Brien finished off an impressive move started by Wilson Moreira the Cove Academy product who's only 19 years of age got his second goal in as many games after finishing off the rebound that lead would only last just four minutes however when Pierce Phillips headed the ball into his own net after an excellent cross from Connor Livingston. Uh, from here, the game began to settle, though, with Wexford edging proceedings in terms of chances. It took an excellent Lee Stacey save from Mark Cannersley in the 25th minute to keep the Rams level. The second half started in a similar frantic fashion uh, with Jack Doherty, very, very influential for Cove, pulling the strings in midfield. And uh, Wexford, indeed, had only the crossbar and the goal line to thank to stay level on their remark. But that wasn't the last time we'd hear of the goal line coming in to the game as a controversial header uh, from Dale Holland was deemed to have crossed the line in the 84th minute and that proved to be the decisive moment for the Rams to seal uh, a dramatic victory uh, to make it two wins from two to go joint top of the table with Athlone Ted down, uh, despite a late join uh, at the AMO effort, uh, which is also deemed to be cleared off the line. But that's how it finished in St. Columbus Park, full-time. Cole Ramblers 2, Wexford 1.